Hi everybody, welcome to Camp Nataway. I'm at the beautiful Jordan Lake State Recreation Area. I have my camp set up, so let's go on a tour. All right, so I have my water. I finally got one of these bad boys because I need it. Right here. Got my cooler. Some cast iron for cooking tonight. I'm gonna have my son over as a guest. Got my solar lights charging. Got my reading for later. Okay. I'm just gonna take a tour inside my crib. Okay. And later I'll move my chair and table inside here in case I want to do some upright reading. I'm going to try a potty in the potty. I'm just, just curious, so I have some cat litter in there. <laughs> okay. And here is my fabulous bed. It is ensconced in um, feather, the feather blanket. Then I have my sleeping bag underneath that with another, like a six inch feather blanket on top. These are my German feather blankets, so they are very, very warm. All right, got some carpet down too, cause it's nice to walk on. That is camp. So this campground is massive. There are, I don't, I don't know how many sections, maybe six different finger-like sections that go out into the lake like this one. And um, so that way is northeast. So I'll be getting some sun coming up this way in the morning. So good for sunrises. And the campground here is beautiful. Some of the sites don't have a lot of privacy, especially the ones by the water. But the pine trees are fantastic. I absolutely love pine trees. All right. Okay. So got some marshmallows for tonight, some jasmine tea, because my son likes to drink tea, he's so refined. He has so much better manners than I do, so I'm very proud of that, very proud. It took five years of cotillion, <laughs> but it, it worked. <laughs> Here in the South, a lot of the kids go to cotillion when they're in grade school just to learn manners and how to conduct yourself on a a date or when you're around other people you know all the pleasantries that that are nice to have so that's one can I don't know that okay I'll leave the lid on that mojo so there's my red beans this is the sauce sauce I don't know what ingredient I'm missing but I guess we'll find out later I do have some truffle butter um, and in case I didn't tell you, I'm glamping this time. I'm not camping, I'm glamping. So there's a difference. Bigger tent. Let's see. I don't know how that's going to work. All right. I also have some beef broth here. I don't want to lick my fingers because ain't no telling. Just to thicken it up a little bit. Okay. Alright. And then let's get some garlic out. Yummy. Oops, I don't have my knife. I'm gonna grab my knife. Do, 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 do. Eek. going to rough chop this. I have a garlic mincer at home, but it's at home, all right? I love this knife. I needed a, a vegetable cleaver because last year I grew every vegetable known to mankind. <laughs> My garden was huge. And this just makes it so much easier to cut through pumpkins and you know, other kinds of uh, vegetables. Like I said, I'm just going to rough chop that. Let's get one more. One more to keep the, the um, what are they called? Not gnomes. Not, not keep the gnomes away. Keep the, oh, hell, what are they? It's not a gnome. It's not a devil. A vampire. Keep the vampires away. Actually, I like gnomes. I wouldn't mind if a gnome came to visit. I like gnomes. They're cool. Kind of cute. Have a bit of preciousness about them. 
Vampires, not so much. Okay. Fire's looking good. Put those coals down a little bit and I can go ahead and get this chili started. Got my hamburger in the cooler. chili check looks good it's got cooked down a little bit nice flavor very nice we are now roasting marshmallows Say hello sailor Hi. and just finished up with chili listen to the water roll in and it gets getting colder Hey everybody, it is, I don't even know what time it is, it's late, but it is so windy out there that I can sleep, so my star laps blew over, and I went out and got that, brought my camera in, hopefully it's not damaged, but um, the wind is just whipping the tent everywhere, <laughs> there's no way I'm going to sleep through this, <laughs> so, anyway, you can hear it out there, it's very, very windy. Anyway, so we'll see hopefully tomorrow it's not as bad as that. Um, we'll see how much sleep I get. It's going to be tough. So there's breakfast. I'm going to enjoy this and watch the view here from from the tent where it's nice and not windy. <laughs> All right, so the 
cowboy omelet was very very good I don't know if it's a cowboy omelet but that's what I'm gonna call it maybe it's a lumberjack omelet but it was delicious I would I would make that again at home that's how good it was and um, the coffee even though it's not strong strong but it's it's very good the flavors there and that's why I love to percolate coffee it just tastes so much better than brewed coffee I don't know why but also there Mr. Pooh can <laughs> he did really well last night um, I had to get up and pee twice so I have to say um, I don't smell anything the cat litter works great and I imagine in summer months I'm gonna have to move that out outside the tent um, I just wanted to try it out so there's a bathroom here and I'll use that I have I used that a few times but um, just in places where it's not opportune to use the bathroom I will keep one of those around it's very nice to have so let me address a few issues um, why do I forget things to take things to camp all the time I think the reason I do is because I'm so excited to go camping <laughs> that I just can't help, help it. it. I truly can't help it. I mean, I forgot pajamas, I forgot, um, I mean, it, it's always going to be something, right? Like I said, who of you do not forget something when you go to camp? I mean, I just I always do, so. But I'm true, I'm so excited, like I can't sleep the night before because I'm so excited to go camping. And then, um, you know, the next thing about the weather, yes, I didn't know the weather was going to get cold, I don't know why I thought I didn't need to bring another long sleeve shirt. Here's the other issue with me. If we have one warm day, I'm so excited for that one day that we're going towards spring that, you know, that's my spring, it's how I started, so you can't go back. So I'm going to be wearing either shorts or short sleeves or, or dress inappropriately um, for the weather just because I've already reached that one point and it's hard to go back from that. So it's hard to go back into clothes like flannel and lumberjack wear when you've already had a taste of that warm weather. So I can't do anything about it. Okay, so I am at the Hall River Trail right off of 64, very busy road. This goes, um, I think, 7.8 miles down the Hall River, up the Hall River, I don't know, <laughs> up the Hall River, <laughs> based on geography alone, but, um, so I'm going to see what this trail is like. It has really great reviews, so, all right. So, Hall River Trail is very beautiful. The tree canopy here somewhat reminds me of Congaree Swamp outside of Columbia. Really nice tall trees. Beautiful. Look at that handsome boy. Very, very nice. I love that. I love pine trees. I love them. I don't know if these are loblollies or long leaves. Beautiful. This is a nice trail once you get past the um, crowded uh, highway over there. I'm sure some of this looks really nice. Good fishing spot down there. Okay. Nice. Oh, look at that tree. What a beaut. know what's going to come of these trips I'm doing but hopefully something will I just know I'm very happy out here <laughs> in the forest and that last job took a huge toll on me and I realized last week that this chronic pain I had been having in my back was gone <laughs> which just blew my mind so ditched the desk for a tent and everything's gonna be okay wow look at that tree so I was just I'm just so thrilled to get rid of that pain um, I actually waited my doctor prescribed physical therapy because I went to him about it my orthopedic doctor and it's true I don't have any cushioning on my L1 and this just pain would not go away and I even bought a new desk chair <laughs> when I was working and bought a new mattress. The new mattress helped a lot. 
but there was still a little bit, a little bit of pain left. It just wouldn't go away. And um, anyway, so I waited um, on therapy just to see how things would pan out when I quit my job. And sure enough, that helped more than anything. <laughs> oh wow, look at that nest up there. It's so cool. Anyway, so I was thrilled about that. Oh my gosh. It just, um, it just tells me more and more I'm doing the right thing. I'm not making money. Um, <laughs> costing money, but... <laughs> I um, have a trip coming up in May, which is why I didn't want to start a job. So, I'm trying to get as much camping in as possible. And... You know, I'm just going to try to ditch the plans for a little bit and just see what happens. So this is the campground I'm staying at. Just coming back from my hike and I'm going in the um, opposite direction of traffic flow just to give it a better idea. Some really nice spots on this loop. I really like this loop. Loop number two. Some nice wooded spots there. Come get you some firewood. <laughs> this one's really pretty. I like that. Let's go take a look. This is number 86. You know, even though they post the um, pictures online, it's hard to tell from the pictures exactly how it's going to look, so nice to have a video. Yeah, this one's very nice. I would definitely camp in something like this next time. Right, so I was just right across the water there and showed you that site. Here's one 228, beautiful site. So get her early and hope no one is here. <laughs> but this is very nice. You're right on the water. You have a little buffer too because last night I was too close to the water. I had so much wind coming over the tent, it just was kind of miserable. 
this looks very nice. Do a little fishing. Very nice. Lovely location. Got a little gully right there though. Yeah, other parts of it aren't as even with this site. Um, but the tent area looks nice and even, or you might even be able to put a tent there. Yeah, hey. Nice. So, um, we're having tent talk here, okay? I told, I'm slowly telling my friends what I'm doing, that yes, I quit my job in January, and I'm going camping now. <laughs> and they, they don't quite understand, so... Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't understand myself. I just know it makes me happy, right? But one common theme was, well, aren't you afraid, you know, to be alone? And I said, well, no, I'm, I'm more afraid going to Food Lion in the parking lot at, you know, late at night or something. Or, um, I, I really ever have, I don't think I've ever met someone out in the wild that, uh, have been accosted by someone out in the wild, but plenty of times in public, even in my own house, I walked in on a burglar one time, so... Um, no, I'm not afraid to <laughs> go camping alone. It's really, it's just weird. I, I just find it weird I, that people would think that, uh, you'd be more, they're more afraid of being alone in the forest than being around people in a parking lot. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, I find it, they should be, have the opposite, you know. <laughs> you mean you go grocery shopping alone? <laughs> Turn that around. <laughs> But anyway, it's really nice sometimes because you think about a lot of things. Um, you, you have to be less digital because you don't have enough battery. I mean, I don't.